What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. I'm into hiking and backpacking and gear and all that stuff. And uh, we're going to focus on the gear portion in today's video. We're actually going to be doing some first things like stuff I've never done before in this video. Like talk about a piece of gear by a company called Core Essentials, which is why the title of the video had Core Essentials in it. And uh, it's a piece of gear that nobody ever talks about. At least I've never heard anybody talk about it. And I think it's an extremely important piece of gear. Uh, the other thing is, uh, actually let me show you. There it is right there. So we'll get to that later and I will be giving that away later, so stick around for that. Uh, and then the other first is that I'm gonna be using an alcohol stove for the first time ever. I've always used canister stoves. I've got a trip coming up this weekend here hiking in Wisconsin at the Northern Kettle Moraine and it's gonna get kinda cold, so I'm bringing an alcohol stove. So um, I ordered one, it's here, but I gotta go to the store and get the fuel for it, so uh, you guys may as well come with me real quick. Almost forgot my sunglasses. Hey, I'm coming back, but I'm not coming back for long. No, you're not coming. You're staying here. Watch my backpacking stuff for me. I got a rental. My wife got a little fender bender. I miss my, miss my car. I want my car back. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Just had that? Yeah, that's it. Have a good one. Thanks. There's a major issue with this rental car. Let me show you. See that right there? It's not that uh, you can't smoke in here, it's that uh, somebody obviously did, because it stinks. Oh, there you are. Did you miss me? <sighs> rental cars, am I right? So we're gonna talk about the one piece of gear that nobody talks about. It's especially vital if you're like the guy that likes to bushcraft and it's winter time and I don't know, you're wearing more clothing like uh, pants instead of shorts. Um, even if you're wearing shorts, uh, we're gonna talk about a belt. And the belt that we're gonna talk about is a belt um, that is the best belt I have ever used. And I can say that because I've been using this belt for over two years. Um, and when Core Essentials reached out to me, I'm like, dude, yeah, I, I would love to do a video for you guys. I've been using this belt for two years. Now we're gonna do our best to not get demonetized on this channel, <laughs> for this video especially, because this is made especially for guys who like to carry a weapon. And I'll just leave it at that, and then um, we'll see how YouTube does for me. This is really a belt that um, you don't have to use it for that at all. This is a belt that, um, in my opinion, is uh, versatile, it's strong, it does what it's supposed to do better than any belt I've ever used. And for backpacking, it just makes the experience of carrying uh, more gear, like especially if you got cargo pants or uh, anything on your belt, a whole lot easier. So these are the two core essential belts that I have owned for uh, a few years now. And I wear them with my you know, jeans, I wear them business casual. I owned an insurance agency for you guys that don't know, and so uh, I wore these to work frequently. I've got a black one and I've got a brown one. And uh, the uniqueness of these belts is it has a ratcheting system on it. So on the back of this belt, on the inside of the belt, you're gonna see that there's a, a whole bunch of um, teeth here. They're maybe quarter of an inch, eighth inch of part. And what that does is, check this out. So when you put this belt on, you're gonna hear It just connects and it connects at whatever size you want. And then just to release it, it's got this little tiny lever right here. So lifting it up, you can see it sliding around, putting it down, you can hear it ratcheting. And when it ratchets, it locks. And I like this belt because it keeps its form. It doesn't like flop around, okay? Um, and that's where it carries heavier items like the item I mentioned earlier. So maybe you're the guy who, you know, likes to carry the, you know, the bushcrafting knife or maybe you've got that uh, EDC pouch that you like to carry on your belt or, or whatever it is. And this is the belt that we're gonna be giving away. Out of the box, it comes with this buckle and I picked this buckle out. I just thought this was a really cool, you know, matte black buckle. And I'll get to why the buckle is separate in a second. And this belt is really cool. I think the color is called green. Gray Wolf. The belt comes just as, you know, a belt. Comes as a belt. <laughs> it comes as a belt <laughs> without the buckle attached. And the whole point of that is because they want these belts to fit so well that you're actually gonna size it and cut it yourself, which is actually really easy to do. It's not difficult at all. You can actually cut this with a, a, a sharp pair of scissors or a knife. You see it's got 
markings for the inches. So whatever size you are, you go ahead and mark that, you cut it, and then you can just slip on the buckle on the end and it's got these teeth here that will clamp down and grip onto the belt. And I'll show you because uh, I don't wanna cut this one and put it all together for somebody who's gonna get it. I don't know how big of a guy or girl you are or whatever, maybe skinny, whatever it is. But let me just show you on my belt that I've been using kind of how this works and how I was able to do it. So on the inside here, you can see you just, you pull on this lever, the belt buckle just comes right off and there's those nice sharp teeth right here. After you cut the belt to your size, you find out how your length and my, the numbers on the back of this belt got worn because it's a couple years old. This would just slide right in here, and then this just clamps down like that, and now that belt buckle isn't coming off. I'd recommend if you do get this belt that you cut it a little bit longer and then try it out, um, because that way you, you, you're not you know, ruining your belt by cutting it too short, and then you can continually cut it to fit exactly your size. But you can pick out the belt buckle, you can pick out the colors, you can pick out whether you want an EDC belt like this one, whether you want a belt that's got the ability to not fold in on itself so you can carry items like I talked about earlier, or um, maybe you uh, want a belt that uh, doesn't do that. They've got belts like that as well. So Core Essentials says that their belts are 800% more adjustable than your standard belt. So let's say you're sitting at camp and man, you've had a long day and you drank a ton of water, maybe you had a big meal, you can just give it a couple clicks Boom, you're good, all right? You can uh, maybe give this to the guy who, um, when he bends over, he's got a little bit of uh, backside showing, all right? Maybe you're tired of seeing that on the trips. This is one of those belts that's gonna ratchet and lock <laughs> into place, 100%. So if you do decide to get a leather belt, they fit anywhere from size 24 inches all the way to 44 inches. Or if you get one of their, what they call tactical belts, this is gonna fit anywhere from 24 inches all the way up to 54 inches. So if you're a bigger guy or a super skinny person, this belt will 100% fit you. Now I actually bought this little hanging system here. I thought this was really cool. It was like a couple bucks on their website, uh, but it's just this little hanger that goes in my closet and I can just ratchet the belt on there and it hangs in my closet, keeps it nice and straight. I always know where it is because I got a black one and a brown belt. They both fit right on there. No, I don't know karate. That sounded like I knew karate, right? So the interior of the tactical belt is made with what they call a power core center. And they apparently spent like two years developing this material. So it's not gonna wear over time and it's gonna hold up really well. And honestly, I've got a bunch of belts that carry items like that. And uh, this is by far one of the most difficult to fold in on itself and that's exactly what you want when you're carrying heavier items. So especially for you guys that like to backpack and carry extra items and carry heavier gear and you're always having to try to pull your pants up while you're hiking, I know what that's like. Uh, I've been down that road before, it's not fun and you want a good belt, do not overlook this belt. I have a coupon code for you guys as well if you want to save 10% when you go order this belt. I'll make sure I put a link in the description below along with the coupon code. Tell them that Dan Becker sent you guys. If you guys want to win this belt, here Here's how you're gonna do it. You have to be a subscriber of the channel. You have to make a comment below in the video. And then you also have to follow me on Instagram. And here is my Instagram right here. Make sure you go ahead and do that. Um, and then within the first 12 hours of me posting this video, uh, whoever's commented there, I will pick a random person from that comment. I'll make sure you did all that other stuff and I'll find you, uh, we'll talk and I'll send this uh, out to you guys. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. Make sure you hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every time it's released and I will see you on the next one.